Hey everybody, my name is Ketan and welcome back for another video of Civilization 6. We're coming back to this game, guys. So excited to play this game again. There's the new DLC that came out. I decided to play this instead of Division 2. Now, maybe I'm a, I'm a little bit crazy. Maybe I should have played Division 2. I'm not sure. I don't want to... To be honest, I really don't want to buy Division 2. I just don't want to buy the game because... I know it's going to be a decent game, but I'm not going to play it. It's just like Anthem, I just basically, what, I got rid of Anthem like uh, a couple of days ago, or since, uh, ever since I stopped playing it, because uh, Anthem basically, um, not that the trial was over or anything, but there was a mission where uh, I had to do some stuff that was very RPG-like, and I, I just couldn't do it. It was just not in my... Um, in my possibilities to do it so I'm not gonna do it uh, we are gonna do though civilization 6 a gathering storm new DLC that came out there's a bunch of new stuff that comes with it um, new um, I guess new people new uh, nationalities um, there's actual natural uh, disasters now so not only natural wonders but there's also natural disasters that can happen at any time and ruin everything for you which is really great it makes the whole thing a little bit more real and uh, there's a lot of stuff really i do want to first off additional content look at what we are uh, we have unable uh, enabled basically so easier wonder placement is back okay uh, uh, colorized historic moments we've got that these are mods that i'm using guys if you want to use those uh for Fortan raising capital is basically allows you to raise capitals as well as any other cities which is really uh, coming in envy when you are in a war now that we're going to be in too much of a war in this series i don't know how long it's going to go but you'll see why i'm talking about that better resource yields now i can't get any of these a soviet union apparently is enabled so we can get the soviet union now that was good that's good um, real tech tree uh, Republic of Pirates we can get the pirates as well and we've got uh, Terra, Mi Terra Mirabilis which is a wonder I think so all of this is pretty good I don't have anything else don't I I don't think I do I really would want to get the city gold mine but I guess I can't get it so we're gonna have to do this the smart the old-fashioned way there's also multiplayer now which you can basically it means what it means you can play multiplayer with your friends which is really good there's a new thing which is a scenario which is only the black death so far but you have to try to survive the black death which is really cool as well so there's a bunch of new stuff guys for this game and i'm really excited to bring it up to you um it's gonna be pretty fun now gathering storm is the name of uh, the obviously the new dlc i'm gonna uh, um, basically show you all the new nationalities and other new nations there's a um, Dido I don't know how to call her but she's uh, Carthage basically it's basically a founder of Carthage uh, the Eleanor of Aquitan all right there's also another Eleanor of Aquitan uh, one is from uh, France right here and another one is from England it's probably the same one or they're twins i don't know much about Akiten for sure uh, to be honest guys there's one from sweden a uh, christina there's a lot of girls in this one so um a lot of female empowerment for this dlc which is pretty good it's pretty it's pretty awesome uh, not, there was already a lot of females but it's pretty cool it's pretty cool a uh, coupe from mahori now i believe mahori is what samoans or stuff probably uh, Mensa Musa from the Mali, which is interesting. We've got Matthias Corvinus, which is from Hungary, so the Kingdom of Hungary. We've got uh, Pacha, uh, Pacha Tuchuti, I don't know how to uh, name him, but we've got the Incas in here, which is really good as well. Uh, Solomon from the Ottomans, obviously. And the last but not least, none other. Then the Canadian people, guys. Wilfrid, Wilfrid Laurier. Oh my god, we got a Canada in here finally in a Civ 6 game. 
That's unbelievable. This is who we're gonna play. I yeah, I was. I did try out uh, Canadian people in my own free time. It's pretty cool. There's some pretty cool stuff about it. Um, naming the fact that there's uh, basically, as you can see, the main thing that's with Canada, it's not with anything else. It's the ice hockey rink. We can actually have some ice hockey rink, guys, and play hockey with the Canadian people, which is really awesome. I haven't figured out how to use that exactly, how to build those. I'm gonna have to figure it out. Uh, we cannot be declared upon, all right? So nobody can declare wars on us, a surprise wars that is. And we cannot declare war ourselves on any city states or any surprise war ourselves. So it's basically a peaceful um, gameplay. That's what it's gonna be because Canada is all about peace, guys. Nobody declares war to them and they don't declare war to nobody, all right? Uh, we're on the right on our own place. We've got plus one amenities, plus one culture for everything. And uh, we've got a lot of food, production. It's a really great country to play as if you want to start it up. Um, it's got a lot of great things and stuff. Now, one thing you do, uh, you do want to know about is if you want some ice hockey rink, you're going to need to be in tundra tiles, uh, which means basically icy tiles, because otherwise you're not going to be able to have hockey rinks. All right, let's just start it up already. I'm gonna choose the uh, settings and everything, and uh, I'll, I'll see you in the actual gameplay in the cutscene and everything. Human advancement knows no boundaries, but this has not been without its price. Though we stand at the height of prosperity, we need only look to the past to remember that nature is a power that cannot be ignored. Consuming even the mightiest empires and causing the greatest among us to tremble in her fury. Yet from adversity, the human spirit endures. Finding ways to coexist with the earth. Or bend it to our cause. Pursuing a course beyond distant horizons and revealing paths both towards innovation An unintended catastrophe. Our survival necessitates new solutions to old problems. To ensure a future, both for ourselves and generations to come. United in purpose, we must now look beyond borders and welcome the dawn of the next era in human civilization. The first stirrings of life beneath water to the great beasts of the Stone Age. To man taking his first upright steps, you have come far. Now begins your greatest quest. From this early cradle of civilization on towards the stars. You chose the sunny ways, Wilfred Laurier, and made cheerfulness and courtesy the character of the Canadian people. 
Where others look to divide and sow mistrust, you inspire cooperation and understanding. Show the world that a unified people can forever stand the test of time. Alright guys, let's start this up. I'm ready. Finally, let's start this up. Took me a long time actually to uh, set up everything. All the con all the other nations and everything. I made sure that to get in there all the new nations. Plus a couple ones that were still available to us. So first thing, new continent discovered obviously because we're in one. I basically made a shuffle map. Now I don't know how it's going to be. Um... I made sure that the map is huge, so we can have as much nations as possible in there and city-states. But also we've got a lot of uh, unpredictable land. I don't know how it's going to be. I don't know what it's going to do. Um, we're going to have to see, really. No, we still have the world rankings, the era of progress, the list of reports. Now this is the new thing right here, guys. World climate. We've got overview CO2 levels. As you can see, which is pretty interesting. And event history. You got all the overview, world settings. You can get the temperature and everything to prevent anything uh, like any of these things to happen. These are the the main, basically, the main the disasters that can happen to you. Which is really awesome when you think about it. So, they're telling me to settle... Either here, or here, or here. We've got three locations, three starts, which are really good starts. It's a really good start for us. I would be tempted to just start right here, though. This would be perfect for our first city, which is probably going to be Ottawa as our capital. Um, yeah, th definitely a really great place. We've got it's only tundra, as you can see, which is really good for us. We're a uh, northern country all about uh, snow in there so let's go guys found the city in here so it's like we're in the south though of the map as you can see but it's all snowy and stuff so I'm fine with it um, so getting a city near the coast that's already done guys there we go we got a city near the coast I'm hoping there is not gonna be any wave flooding or anything because that won't be good at all now it's telling me there's something on claimed territory Huh. So there's probably another another thing here, another continent right here, guys, that we can move on to. But first off, first things we want to do is to... I'm going to look on the left first before looking on the right. I'm going to look around the entire area. What you always want to do, of course, is get that. Always equip these because you're going to get more money quickly. Um... What can we do here? First thing we want to do, well, first thing we want to produce, it's telling us to get a scout. Either get a scout, a monument, or a slinger. I don't need slingers for now. I don't think, I think I'm going to be good where I am. I'm going to have a nice protection here from Ottawa over the borders. The, the ships, the amount of ships, this is one thing I'm going to do, is focus a lot on the seas. Um, builders, not really, not yet. I feel like builders, I could probably purchase one. So monument, it's not that important in the monument, it's just for culture, I don't think culture is that important in the game. They still haven't figured this out. A scout, I guess, maybe a scout or a slinger, maybe a scout, yes, we're gonna go for the scout first. Uh, choose our first research, now you always wanna go for one of these, uh, so I'm guessing, I'm guessing this animal as Bendry first, it would be pretty great for us. And the uh, next up, I think we are good. Yeah, I think we're good. So let's just continue on forward, guys. Skip to the next turn. Um, ne last time I played this game, I was skipping. Oh, there's a tribal village right there. Nice. We're gonna pick it up. Uh, ne ne last time we did anything really. Uh, I, uh, when I had to skip a lot of turns, I basically transitioned. I don't think I'm gonna do this in this turn. There we go. That's gonna help out. Help us out tremendously. We just gained a war builder uh, like for free, just by doing that, which is really good. Now we now that we got our builder though, we cannot do really anything. We're gonna need actually. I think we're gonna need mining in here. Animal husbandry is needed for this one, but we don't have it just yet. We are gonna need sailing and mining, obviously. So this might become a little bit of a problem. I might be tempted to go for 
mining them first because I'm definitely gonna need that first. Let's just build up those farms first as well. So as you can see, tribal village, and also I have the colored thing, which everything is gonna be colorized, which is really cool for us guys. It's gonna have a little bit more of a, a nice feel to it. Okay, that's not good at all. Let's come back, guys. There's goddamn. There's already a, a couple of uh, problems here. There's a scout. Which means there's a scout encampment. Uh, there's a barbarian encampment uh, near here, probably. Really near us. We're gonna have to figure this all out. Now I know how to play the game properly. And uh, this is not gonna be a problem. So, our warrior, we're gonna need him to take care of all these big boys. We're gonna send this guy here. Um, he's not gonna be able to build it until five turns, but uh, we're gonna have to fight to wait for the five turns to work things out, guys. Really, we're gonna need to wait for the money too. We're still gaining a little bit more money. We're starting to get a little bit more money because we just moved up to population of seven. Um, it's gonna take uh, of two. It's gonna take seven turns to get to population three, and we're gonna get need two turns to get our scout. Uh, going so I'm just gonna need to sleep him My warrior just continue to move there we go How many error progress do we need first for, for the first aura to progress? We're gonna need 12 at minimum 12 which it's gonna be easy to get I really need to take care of these bastards I don't want them to hurt my builder or to even take it. You know that would be pretty bad for me. Let's go. Let's move on. I also got um, quick turn, I believe. I think I got uh, quick movement, quick turn, and everything. All right, we've got a scout. I'm gonna actually send him on the right, right here, because there seems to be a lot of builders in here, uh, a lot of uh, barbarians. So I don't know. There's a scout right here. We're gonna look at these regions to see if there's any barbarians in there. Mining is almost done. It's in one turn. We're done with uh, the scout, obviously, so we can either get another warrior, which is telling us to do now, or <laughs> we can get settlers now, which is pretty good, but I'm not going to do that. It's not needed just yet. I really want to wait until my city is fully grown or it's fully like ready. We don't really have anything else for it. Then I'm going to focus on another city and everything. Um, I guess we're going to go for the monument. I don't have anything else, really. So let's continue. Hopefully, oh my God, he's in my town. Deserves more credit than the wife of a coal miner. There we go. Thank you, Sean Bean. We've got the mine, the quarry. We can do production now, which means we can build this up. It's gonna help out our production as well, tremendously. There we go. We got a bunch of eureka moments. I really need to figure this all out. Okay, there's a tribal village here, but I need to take out this scout right here. I really need to do it. The scout is going to be a pain in the ass if I don't do that. We are going to need animal husbandry, uh, luxury item. So we're definitely going to need mining for this one and sailing. Sailing and mining is going to be the two priorities now. So mining, we got it. Animal husbandry and the sailing. Obviously, we need, we're going to need that. But uh, animal husbandry first. All right. And let's focus on the rest later. Can I... I can't build anything, I can't quickly purchase anything because obviously it's gonna take a long time before I actually get anything done in here. I don't have the proper is resources. Best. Man is the noblest of all animals. Separated from law and justice, he is the worst. There we go, Aristotle. Loving it. So we've got our first um, civic done. Let's continue to. Uh, there we go, we got rid of the, the scout, it's giving us a, pro the, a promotion as well. We're gonna take the tribal village, which is gonna help us tremendously as well. I I would really want to, natural, to uncover a natural wonder, but I don't think it's gonna happen as of yet. We do need, okay, so we do have policies now, which is really good, so I'm just gonna do that one and Maybe faith in gold per turn. I'm not entirely sure guys production will be pretty good, but production is only plus one and um, Let me see where my production is at actually Now that I think about it, it's at four. So it's not gonna change too much. I only have one city So what I'm gonna do I'm gonna definitely 
Just do the combat versus the barbarians and just do the faith in gold, which that's going to be way more helpful at this point than uh, the production. Let's go. Civics. Now we got two choices, craftsmanship or foreign trade. Uh, I'm thinking, okay, so this is plus three, 30 production towards, okay, so wonders, all of this stuff. I'm not interested in that. I, I want to go for foreign trade, guys. Make as much money as possible. Let's continue. All right, on to the next turn. We got our promotion to do for our warrior. It's done. We got our scout, which we're going to send him here. There's no... Like there was a barbarian scout, but there's nobody here. It seems like it's gonna end here, or maybe the the new continent is gonna be here around that uh, that place, which is pretty interesting. We're getting eight gold per turn. We're already at 105. Uh, we're definitely gonna use our money to quickly purchase the monument. Uh, that's how we're gonna use it. I think we're good. Yeah. All right. A monument right should be building up right now. So I don't know if we're gonna. We might save our money then. If there case. are no dogs in heaven, then when I die, I want to go where they went. Thank you, Sean. We've got animals, boundary done, pasture, camp, all of all this great stuff, which means we can. Actually, I'm gonna create uh, quickly build builders. That's what I, uh, I'm gonna use my money for. Scout, just go ahead and go here. There we go. I think we found them, guys. Um, this looks like a tribal village, right? Yeah, this it, it is. So we're gonna pick up that tribal village with the scout. We're gonna send our warrior unit against that other warrior unit right here. We're uh, moving up in population in one turn. To population of three, which is gonna be really good for us. Next thing, we said we wanted sailing, obviously, and we're gonna need pottery. Uh, we're gonna go for sailing right away. Uh, pottery, I don't think. It's gonna give me granaries and stuff and great bath but I really need the sailing for my uh, builders all right I need I need to be able to get builders and stuff so next thing I'm gonna the first thing I'm gonna quickly purchase is gonna be a builder I don't need units like this is one thing with Canada you're not gonna need a lot of warrior units because you're not gonna go to war as much all right war is not gonna be your priority um, I guess I want to get that thing, but I got a promotion. So I guess on Woods and rainforest terrain. I'm gonna go for Alpine There we go. I think we can't move him up yet. We did uh, level up to population of three already So Ottawa is growing up nicely, but we're, we are gonna need our builder uh, nice and quick Before anything else before it continues to grow because we're gonna need to help our city here there we go. Actually, I think my my scout could probably take seven those girls guys out. were chased by bears. The bears were just about to catch them when the girls jumped on a low rock. One of the girls prayed to the rock. Rock, take pity on us. Rock, save us. The rock heard them and began to grow upwards, pushing the girls higher and higher. Interesting. We got we uncovered the Mato Tipila. Exactly what I wanted. A natural wonder, pretty close to our city. Pretty close, I gotta say. Another Eureka moment for astrology. I really want to go there with my scout. I can't go anywhere with my uh, my warrior unit. That's your, there we go, natural wonder. Some of these pictures are still gonna be black and white, which it's a shame. I really want them to be better than that, but it's okay. I'm not sure if I'm gonna focus on faith as much. I don't think fits is going to be that important, guys. I'm really going to focus a lot on, on money, sailing, and all this stuff. Uh, we do have a scout. Uh, we can upgrade it again. So, can move after attacking. Can see through woods and jungle. I'm going to say a gorilla. There we go. Can move uh, after attacking. There we go. Our next On the next turn, we're going to be able to get rid of that warrior unit. I think we are good. Yes, we're definitely good now to get our builder. So let's quickly purchase it. One thing that is good for uh, faith, why you kind of want to get faith sometimes, is because it helps you. Oh my God, what just happened? Oh, there they are. The, the encampment. Oh, okay, I see. I see how it is. I'm just going to pick up the tribal village and attack this guy. 
There we go. There's another tribal village right here. Um, let's go right here and on the next turn we're going to build up that mine. The one thing we got to go, as I was saying, uh, why you want some faith, it's because with faith, you, if you get to a golden age, you can actually quickly purchase with faith a bunch, uh, some units like, um, like warriors and stuff. So that's why it's so useful, really. Um, this guy is going to do way too much damage to me, so I'm going to... I'm just going to move on from that. There's another mine. There we go. Production is, uh, is going to be now at uh, more than five, I imagine, after the next turn, which is pretty good for us. In one turn, we're done with the monument. I don't know what we're going to build. We're going to research for the next. Now, we got our first religion, our first Pentheon. Uh, what, we, what do we want to get? I'm not entirely sure. Uh, something that goes with production for sure, guys. So I think that can help us out produce stuff quicker. So districts and cities without a special a spe a speciality district. So, hmm, that's interesting. Maybe that could be really great, great guys. Or maybe plus one production from mines over strategic resources. That would be really good as well. You know what? I kind of want that. A goddess of festival plus one food. From all of these, I don't know. I think I'm gonna want to this. Yeah, I, I want God, uh, God of Craftsmanships. There we go. That's gonna be really great for us. There we go. Mysticism is upgraded. Uh, let's look at our timeline. We got a new thing. There we go. So let's continue next turn. We're doing. We're moving pretty good, guys. I made it so that it's, it's gonna be a quick. It's gonna be quick turns and everything. We move quickly. Let's take out that encampment. There we go. Um, I'm pretty sure my scout can take care of that other scout. So let's just move, uh, do that. So he's going to upgrade it anyways. It's going to help him out. There we go. Took out a barbarian camp. We can actually, yeah, research now. We're done with the monument, which means we can either go for the slinger or the warrior. I kind of want to go for the warrior, uh, the slinger. I'm gonna go for a slinger just to protect my city, I guess. How many other builds does he have? He's got two other builds, uh, which is enough for these. So I can, I can definitely go for a slinger right here. It would be fine. My scout can once again attack, I believe. No, it can't attack. Uh, it can move though. Yes, let's move him. All right. You are going to... Oh, you cannot. All right. So selling... Oh, yeah. yeah we're almost done. Almost good for selling. Next turn, we're going to be able to move him and start building those uh, fish resources, whale resources, and crab resources. It's going to be really good for us. Help us out tremendously as well. Vessels large may venture more, but little boats should keep near shore. Benjamin Franklin says... All right. So, uh, we have fishing boats. And galleys, we can basically sell now with our units, which is uh, really awesome. We've got another tribal village. Another tribal village right here. Um, kind of want to heal up my unit right here. My scout, I want to heal him up. Make sure that he doesn't die. I, I'm going to need him eventually. So, we can get galleys. Not going to get one just yet. I really want to get the... Um, uh, my protector, my uh, I guess my slinger first. Pottery, we should probably get that. It's going to be pretty important. We can still, we cannot get uh, in there. So, bronze working, a wheel, masonry. Masonry was uh, would be pretty good for us. Astrology, like I said, faith is not going to be a, a, pr a thing for me. So, I'm going to go for one of these, uh, which is a wheel. Wheel is not that important. Water mill would be pretty good though for us. Uh, bronze. Um, you know what? Bronze working would be pretty good. I'm going to go for pottery just to be done with that one first. Just so we can have more time to focus on other stuff. My warrior unit is doing great job clearing out those barbarians. Looks like those barbarians are going to be a bit of trouble, guys. A little bit of a trouble to us. Let's go. Let's get that fishing boat resource. Got another uh, history timeline right there. Uh, we're going to con continue to heal up our, I guess, our scout 
It's gonna help us out. Um, I can quickly purchase something. Uh, I kind of want to wait. I cannot uh, do anything else as of yet. And uh, foreign trade is done in one turn, which means I'm gonna get traders. I could probably save my. I think I'm gonna save my money to quickly purchase a settler. Uh, start selling already. Uh, start settling. Maybe towards here, guys. Definitely have a city here. So it's just so it's beside the natural wonder. Definitely. And afterwards, I could settle on the west here. On the north, there's plenty of space for me to settle anywhere I want, basically. So let's continue on that uh, on that plan. We're gonna have definitely uh, use Every that plan. Nation lives by exchanging. All right, we got we got it. Foreign trade. We're gonna have traders. Joint war. Joint ongoing war. All right. Uh, I'm gonna have to go back here because I need my warrior to take care of these uh, bad boys. I'm gonna need another builder now. That I think about it. Yeah, I'm gonna need another builder, guys. There's more stuff to build. But as long as it's only re one resource I need to build, I'm not gonna waste money on that one builder. I'm gonna need a settler for sure. We got new stuff. Production towards ancient classical era level. Don't need it. Plus two uh, gold. I'm not gonna equip it, equip it just yet because I don't have any trade routes ongoing. I can't send anybody really to anywhere. Because I don't know where anyone is, so let's just continue on forward here. It's a lot of scouts, uh, barbarian scouts. No real problem here for me. Uh, next thing we're gonna research, I guess, mysticism would be for a great person. We're gonna get an envoy out of that, which is the most important thing. Or we could get so so go to civilization problem research. Before we do that, I guess we can go for mysticism. Which is gonna. It's the best option right now, I guess. We got a natural disaster right in Ottawa, guys. Oh no, significant blizzard. We got a blizzard right into Ottawa as well. It just destroyed our farm. All of our resources are mine. It's gonna be gone. Our farms are gonna be gone. Oh no, guys. That's, that's exactly not what we wanted. That is not what we wanted at all. I'm gonna fortify you. That, that that's just not good. They're they're actually chasing me. What the hell? Why? Why are they chasing me? Like, I don't know, guys. This is not good. Look at the blizzard. It's gonna do a lot of damage. Hopefully, it goes on this way instead of going to exactly towards my. My city because it's gonna destroy my city. My city is gonna, uh, it's gonna be hurt a lot. It's, especially since it's hurt, it's going to population four pretty soon. I don't want it to be, like I don't want it to be hurt or anything. God damn it. Um, I could start going on galleys, but I, I'm thinking I'm gonna go for. A tr yeah, I, I'll I'll build my trader right away. Why not? Uh, I'm saving. I'm still saving my money for the uh, settler. All right, um, builder is costing less now, which is pretty good for us. But we're still gonna wait on that. Man, hopefully that no goes man away. Ever wetted clay and then left it, as if there would be bricks by chance and fortune. Oh, bad news, guys. So it's going directly to my cities. It uh, destroyed my fishing boats. It it destroyed all my resources. I don't have any more resources. Everything's gone. There's only this one left, I believe. No, nope, not even this one is done. It's gone. We just lost everything. Everything, guys. We were gonna grow. We just lost all of our amenities. Everything. We, all of our progress, just completely gone. Uh, we could get a granary to help us out, I guess now. Which, um, oh, I'm, I'm definitely mad about all this. I'm gonna get the granary. I'm gonna quickly purchase a granary. Um, I guess they're gonna, they're gonna keep chasing me. I'm gonna just destroy them. Keep, try to ch destroy them. I'm gonna fortify. I, I really need my builder to get in there. Good lord. This is not good. The blizzard into our city and everything. Destroying everything. That's not good. Irrigation is gonna be really important for us. Farmer resource. 
You know what? I'm gonna need uh, irrigation. I'm gonna need irrigation, guys. Oh my god, that's not good at all. That is not good for us. It's not. It's not even fun, guys. Oh my! They just killed my scout as well. What the? What is going on here? Oh, my scout is dead. Storm Peter's out. Okay, so the storm is is gone. Now that they basically destroyed my entire city, for Christ's sake. So I'm gonna need to. You know what? I need to focus on something else right here. I need to get. Um, a, well, it's. It's 12, 13 turns. It's going to be too much. It's going to take too much time, guys. God damn it, man. I'm not going to make enough money and everything for that. I'm going to need to fortify my unit. This is not good. This definitely did not help at all. I don't have... Everything is gone. Every, all my progress is gone because of that natural disaster. It's, it's bullshit. It's what it is. All right. I think you're good enough. You definitely yelled up. Irrigation, we're gonna get it in seven turns. We're gonna get an envoy in one turn. Let's go, guys. Mysticism is the mistake of an accidental and individual symbol for a universal one. All right, let's uh, let's do this. We're gonna attack this bad boy right here. God damn, there's the scout. There's there's they have scouts everywhere, which is annoying. I can probably change some stuff here. Great. I, I can't equip those. Doesn't matter. So, damn it, guys. It's not good. We got a. We need a new civic. Early empire. Definitely gonna go for this one now. Let's go. Let's continue. Continue on forward. Did we get attack again? I do think we get. A, we got attack, but I'm gonna keep attacking them. It's gonna give me XP anyways. I hope that they don't kill my goddamn unit. I'm actually gonna send my slinger now I think about it because otherwise they're gonna be a, too much of a, too much of a trouble. 12 turns per turn now, uh, 12 gold per turn because we're population four. We don't have any amenity amenities because we don't have anything. We don't have any resources. I need my builder. I'm focusing on something else right now. Let's be, please kill it. There we go. We killed that scout. There's a barbarian encampment right there. Good lord! Well, we're definitely gonna need military units now because they're gonna keep attacking us, guys. Shit is ridiculous. Alright, just heal up, buddy. Definitely gonna need help right here. This is ridiculous. We have a promotion for a slinger at least. Uh, 112 gold per turn. We're almost done with the trader. This is ridiculous. I'm gonna need another warrior. I'm gonna need uh, another warrior, guys. And uh, yeah, definitely another warrior. And maybe Sither's gonna have to wait, that's for sure. I don't know what to do. I'm getting a, a jump by natural disasters. Like, I'm getting natural disasters. I'm getting everything. Um, combat strength from occupying range versus land units. There we go. Okay, so it seems like the era in progress ends in 10 turns. So the next era ends in 10 turns, guys. So we definitely need to uh, get this done. We have the trader gone for the next turn and irrigation as well. You know what? In this, uh, I'm going to need this one for sure. I'm going to need this one in out of war. Look back over the past. There we go. We got early empires. Let me build this. Get this right here. Uh, my builder is just not healing up. He's just my work. My warrior unit is just not healing up, guys. I don't like. At some point, there's only so much I can do. I got uh, my other warrior unit in two turns, and the uh, next era is getting coming out in three turns, which is not not good at all. Uh, I don't need that. Uh, reduce the cost of purchase sustaining a tile. Deduction towards settlers. I don't care. I need money. I need I need stuff right now. All right. I need everything. I just need things to go right. Oh, they just purchased a builder. They just got another builder. Like, honestly, is this a, is this a joke right now? Let me just... There we go. Get rid of these slingers while I'm at it. We're going to get this other mining place done. 
Like, just get rid of the scouts. I'm not even, he's not even upgraded. Like, he get, doesn't get any upgrades, but he keeps fighting. I don't get it, guys. I just don't get it. How does it work exactly? We're gonna finally get archery. But they killed my goddamn slinger! Become confused while your arrow is on its way to the target. Are you f are you kidding? Like are you fucking with me right now? Like what is this joke? This is a real joke, guys. Everything like every nothing's working right with me for for me right now. This this uh, we finally got another warrior unit, but it's gonna be too late. We're gonna be in a dark era. Because of these bullshitters. Alright, well we got archers now. Which means we can basically, we're gonna definitely save our money for an archer, guys. I'm gonna show these motherfuckers what's all about right here. Because they're ruining my life right now. They literally, literally are. Astrology? Writing? What's next for us? Writing? Uh, campus? Wheel? Uh, what what can we what should we take? That's not really gonna be that important. I'm thinking Well, actually Science is good for researching things faster. I guess I'm not sure guys You know what we might I'm going to definitely need Spearmans, I'm not sure about that iron. I'm gonna need that bronze working why? Because it's going to give me iron, which is going to give me swordsmen. It's going to be able to upgrade these things. Uh, archer unit. Settler. Not entirely sure about that one, buddy. Um, how about a goddamn scout? Yeah, another one. Another scout, please. I'm going to just focus on scouts. I'm going to end it right here. Uh, the next turn, I believe. Is it? Actually, yeah, let's just go for the next turn first. Go for the next turn, see how it's going to go. Yeah, they just killed my warrior unit right, that was right there. It's just bullshit. Nothing good is happening for me. Without We're going to be in a dark ship. era. Inspiration is a mere reed shaken in the wind. Got rust machine done. Oh boy, I just don't know what to do anymore, guys. It's just... It's just really bad. Let me kill that, uh, that slinger. We're going to kill the other slinger afterwards. Yeah, pretty bad pretty bad we're gonna be in the dark era it's gonna hurt us a lot the mystic routes provide okay so that's gonna be right with more food cat train or by builders I don't want none of them I'm not gonna use them come as for all melee attack units cannot heal outside of your territory that's kind of a you know Twilight Valor What if I can't, uh, I can't do, take that, huh? All right, well, I'm gonna keep that then. That's not good. They, these just come, basically. What we got? That's not good at all. No, I don't. Yes, forget it. All right, yeah, we still got the same things. Dark era, guys. God damn it. So what's gonna happen here? What do we choose? Gain plus one each time you construct a new specialty district. Not really. Gain two error each time you convert a city. You know. No. Uh, we can't do that. Inspiration. One is care for constructive building with great work slot. Okay. No. Gain plus a Eureka for the Eureka moments. Yes, I do need that. Oh, it's going to be bad. Yes, we need a new city. What do we choose? Poetry, not gonna ha help us. A state workforce. What about this? Production, nope. Uh, great generals, I'm gonna need this. I'm gonna need this one, state workforce. Alright, we're gonna end it right here, guys. First video did not come off as good as I wanted it to go. Too many barbarians where we are. Natural wonder right here, but first thing that happened is... A lot of my, my only, like, I had one slinger one warrior they both died because there's two encampments two barbarian encampments surrounding me there's probably a third one around the area when i think about it like honestly we're working towards that scout 
uh, we we built everything. We were starting really good, but then a natural disaster came up at us. Basically, a blizzard and destroyed our entire city, which we needed to rebuild all over again. It's annoying. That's what happens, guys. It's a new DLC. Things like that can happen. It can't just go right for us. So, hopefully, we're gonna be able to rebuild our city slowly but surely. And also get finally rid of these encampments so I can settle over here. I want to settle over there. I can't do that if there's another encampment. Like, I gotta get all this thing done. So, remember to leave a like, subscribe, leave a comment, share. Do all this great stuff for me. Uh, if you did enjoy the video, I'm gonna see you all for the next one. Keep it easy.